Christmas. So, I'm just completing the upgrades. Well, the one that I have is right, available right now. On the Ural, the WPL Ural B36 military truck 6x6, it's so such a long name. So, it's what I've done so far. I've taken this receiver from my really new one monster truck and I've just installed the new transmission. It wasn't difficult. What I did, so there it is. What I did was I simply undid these, undid, undid these screw right here. And but I didn't completely take them out. I just undid them to the point where I could then get more space in between the two um, chassis rails, so like I can, so that I could remove the old, the stock uh, transmission, and insert the new transmission. Then I just redid the screws, got it taut, and then I, I had to use the screws that came with the transmission. I wanted to use the screws that came with the, the the truck because then I could reuse these bits, these accessories. But I can't because the screws are too big. I have to. I would have to do a bigger screw hole, and I just don't want to do all that just yet. So I got the transmission in, and I've got the ESC connected. It's a very tiny ESC. The ESC is half the size of the stock ESC, half this literally half the size. So. I am almost finished with this current upgrade. Well, I'm gonna have to test it to make sure everything is connected correctly and wired up right and all that stuff. And then I just the, 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 the most the, the most challenging thing I have to do is when to get these lights working. So I have to change the the ends to the stock the regular ends well i don't know if i i might just use the light i got old tummy i like it that i have we'll see we'll see we'll see but for now the main focus is to basically get this all back together but before i do that let's run the test i have a feeling i might have to sort out the servo because i don't want to i'm using the stock servo by the way i'm not using the upgraded servos as yet until i get all the upgrades but due to the new AC the more powerful 1000 milliamp 35c uh, lipo battery and yeah so it just has a bit more power than I thought it would have had so turn the this on damn it it's too small where did this come from the ESC is turned on, turn the transmitter on, transmitter on, now look at the difference, the steering wheel, oh crap, so it is still proportional, but the speed is so much faster now, and power, right, so that's the power, so as you can see, this is, this is, this is reverse, it's actually going forward, this is dry, so I have to reverse the controls. Before I do that, let me lift this up because I know usually when they reverse. So, you have forward, reverse. Yep, so then steering trim because the steering, the servo, like, like it goes further than it is physically able to, the, steer, the, the actual steering hubs. So, the steering dual weight I'm gonna turn that way down yeah yep so that's it so it's working there we go so now I have it it's working it's better it so it should be to like a ton more capable right now Without even the axles yet, do I even need the axle upgrades? Yes, I do. What else upgrades do I need? I have no idea because it's already better than it was. A whole lot better. So, guys, the thing that you have to watch out for is the upgraded run video. Like, you, like you saw the video. If you haven't, I'm going to link it down in the description. The initial run video of this, it did all right. 
it was I. You get me? Yeah. So it did all right. It just wasn't. It didn't have that power. So each time I had to cr go over an obstacle, like it, uh, approaching the obstacle, it's fine until it's time to go over it. Then it just runs out of power. I have to ease off the throttle and then squeeze again. And then that's how it then, I don't know, it just gets like a, bur a boost for like two seconds and the next obstacle I have to do the same thing or if it's a consistent obstacle going up I have to this is how I have to drive it in order to get to keep getting that initial boost but now it seems like it's gonna be fine I can't wait to take this out let me do a quick recap of what I did just for you guys so here we go so I removed the bed it only took two screws it's better I can show like this so one is located here one is located here. Remove those two screws from underneath, the bed comes out. Then to get the, the cab off, you open the battery compartment. There are two screws hold, screw holes. You can see them there, one up here, one to the top, and then one down here to the closer to the front. Remove those, and then the it come then the cab comes off. And that's basically it. Then we just undo the rail, the screws and the chassis rails. You do not have to do take them out completely just enough so that you can get enough space to work and remove the stock transmission insert your new transmission screw it up attach it the drive shafts they are screwed as well they're not grub screw but actual screws uh the crosshead screws so it's it's a fairly straightforward and easy upgrade to do um try to get this off the only thing that is gonna bug me is that i might have to find somewhere to put the to put the power the power um switch because it's right here and it's smaller than the stock power switch so it's a bit fiddly to reach so i'm gonna sort that out sometime in the future but for now i'm just really happy about this so guys stay tuned like i'm gonna do a quick run video of this being upgraded inside the house i'm not gonna take it out just yet because like i said the axles the the the, the wheels will be coming, the third of the front wheels for the uh, dually combo will be arriving on the 3rd of January. Then I, when I do that, then I can take it out with similar wheels, front and back. And then we can then test it to see how it does. I'm going to take it to the same place I did the initial run. And then we can see what the difference would be when we compare the two videos. I might just do a before and after doing the same era in the in that run upgraded run video so that you can see on screen the difference uh the simple upgrades may compare to when it was stock like i said stock it was fully uh it was fully capable just not it just lacked power now it has that power and now i'm all for it i'm living for this this is this this is gonna be a great thing check out them dualies bro check out the dualies y'all this thing is gonna be sick so thank you guys for watching thank you for tuning don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you want to share you can share it as well it's it's it, it'll, it'll help me and help you because then when i like when i see that i'm getting views and persons are actually interested in my videos then i'll be more motivated to make the videos i'm here wanting to make videos but then i'm like what's the point of making videos when a lot, not a lot of persons are gonna watch it it's just taking my time but if you guys show me that you guys actually want to see these budget uh one take videos where it's completely authentic then you can just keep watching like subscribe and yeah and i hope you guys had a for who celebrates it i uh, had a very today guys so we're back Jeremy rc also the upgraded wpl Euro B36. I put some duals on it, so I changed the wheels, upgraded the motor, took off the box off the back, and now it's just a flat bed. And so let's see how it does. Oh, also upgraded ESC, now using a 1000 milliamp twist battery. Let's see how, how it does. And so if you can't hear me, I forgot to bring my AirPods for the recording. So just bear with me, guys. Move, throttle, and she's just going through. Also upgraded, V6 
the drive shafts I forgot to mention. Yep. The turning circle is a bit to be I don't believe it's a bit to be desired, however. Look at the torque. She's tiny but mighty. I got her stuck. Come on, baby, you can do it. Yes, yes, she will. Branch is in the way. You just choose a better line. Come oh, on, climb, baby. That's it. No high centers. <laughs> She's not gonna make it there. Let's see if I can go. On. Seems like I've lost rear wheel drive guys. No for to the rear axle as you can see, it's only front wheel drive now. So my mistake, let me show you what probably happened. Yep, that's my mistake right there. So we're down like this. Sorry about that. So this is my mistake. I did not lock tight the grub screws for the upgraded um drive shafts so it spins but the moment it faces a bit of resistance it spins it out so what i need to do is get back upgrade um uh, uh glue the drive shaft the grub screw for the drive shafts and then she'll be performing a lot better but there it is check out the upgraded transmission with the purple heat sink pretty right and the upgraded drive shafts as you can see the diffs are stock the axles are stock check out the thread on them dualies see that right there beautiful ain't it well let's not let's pull the fun let's continue see how how far we can go with front wheel drive oh this is how the explore drive system <laughs> not very far it seems Yep, can't go. Yep. Power, power through. Come on, come on. No traction. So let's take it further out. Hand of God. Very long, here, right? Let's go. Is it? Check it out. Country drive. <laughs> 